Blobby blobby. They're not worth a lot, I'm glad I didn't buy the lot. Seven. Hello, good morning. Hi. That came from Egypt. File Coast Flex. Good morning, welcome to the video. I'm Mike Focus Flips, and today we're here at Billsborough St. Michael's boot sale. And look at it out here. I'll take you out. <laughs> I've never seen it this foggy here. And driving down today, it's the foggiest conditions I've ever driven in. Just look at it. Am I even going to be able to see anything that I'm buying today? <laughs> And I'm getting here for like six o'clock and usually everybody's in and setting up by now. Well, you know, most people are in, but not today. So, um, I don't think I should be in any hurry today to get in there. Let's sit down a minute, have a bit of coffee and then head in, see what we can find. My daughter got 500 given. Don't lose the lead. How much on those two? Five for this pair. Is he four? Yeah. Cheers, mate. these teapots but I'm not sure on it I don't know I feel like it's probably something that's a hugely mass produced we'll see yeah so the spider-man teapots are not worth a lot I'm glad I didn't buy the lot <laughs> I had my feelings about them like kind of 12 quid free delivery so it's gonna cost you I reckon about four quid maybe three to send it yeah, not making a lot of profit there. Yes, I was right not to buy them all. Thank you. How much are your glasses, please? Oh, which ones? These are. Oh, those are just a pound each, those. Do you two for a quid at all? No, oh, pound each, that's the best eight. price. Definitely. Uh, just that one then, please. Oh, okay. What's those two? Four quid for those. Four. A bit of age to them then, aren't they? Pardon? Got a bit of age to them, I think. Oh no, they're quite new. No, I, I think it's just the packaging, yeah. isn't it? It looks quite, right, quite vintage. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cheers, mate. So it's currently 6.29 and people still arrive and not that many people have actually set up yet. So I'm heading to the back again. How much are these, right? Uh, 
Just wondered, Andy, how much we're doing these uh, for? Oh, quid each. Quid each. Yeah. Quid each. Seven. Three. That's three cheers. Thank you. You don't have any more, uh, or any more like, oh, just anything like that. Lord's more. <laughs> yeah. Like All right. It's never right. Been, I know that's yeah. not a wrapper, but it's never been used. That one. one snowman gating. Do the same price on them? Yeah, no problem. I'll take them. Thank you. This is the last of what we had in the cookware shop. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where are you? Where are you from? Where are you based? Oh, we were, we were in Markham. We closed down like eight years ago. Yes. But like them Wilton yeah. trays, they'd have cost us probably seven, eight quid each to buy it, and then we retail them at 15. But. Yeah. I had some of like the weird ones, like the really old ones before. I've had a couple of them. I had a Garfield one last year that was quite good. Oh, right, yeah. Quite interesting looking, you know. Well, look at those boxes on, just under the table at end. Everything in them's 50p each. All right, I'll have a look. Thank you. There's loads of cake decorating stuff on there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cheers. I'll do those three, please. How much your jar? Uh, they're 15 pound each. They're actually like proper designer jars, but they've got a few, sell for about 50 quid each normally, but they've got a few little yeah. bits on them that need cleaning okay. out. Okay. They need the seals replacing as well. That, that one's all right for its seal. That one needs a new seal on it. Yeah, thank you. I was just speaking to Times with JR on YouTube and he's just found a hero quest. 20 quid for a hero quest and two PlayStation 4 controllers, I think. Good job, mate. Said he bought it here about 15 minutes ago, he's just sat there. What's your glasses? Um, I'm going to do them at quid, you know, a better one. Yeah. Do you have more of them or is it just those two? Just them two. Just, yeah. We've been doing both for a quid. Yeah, yeah, too right. All right, thank you. Yeah. 50p, any of them, even. Right. Even Weird is that? <coughs> Check that out. <laughs> or don't, because it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. What, a pig? I've been romped by a I, I, in your life. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to buy it anyway. Should I go down so? Um on the other uh, uh, check Yeah, cheers. How much is the rest like the minifigures and that? Um 50p a net a figure. Okay. Daleks. Alright, they're not like all. Oh, they're Daleks obviously. Yeah, they're still uh 
It's like branded thing, aren't they? How much are they? A couple of quid for it, all Dr. Reed stuff. Yeah, a couple of quid for them. Yeah, I'll take them as well, please. So, uh, six pack, please. Six pack. Cheers. There you go. Thank you. A small part of your selection. None of mine. Oh, you're mine, no, so. not getting rid of your stuff, no. Not. This is like, I was talking for a charity shop. And I oh, sorted right, yeah. it. And then just pieced everything together. Bit like I'll get it set up and get back in a bit. So, Complete. All right. Pass. Complete with manual that. How much is that one? Um, fiver. It's unopened. It's a um, gift we purchased one. Yeah. Two, three. Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can pull that. Cheers. Oh, you got some more there, haven't you? Some bags and stuff. Is it alright if I, yeah, I don't yeah. want to come round and. How much a magazine? Yeah. Well, we're going to be not really I have to do five. 13, 15, then. It's like 50 a bag. said three for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank yeah. you. They're the oh, that, that's bionicle. Like that. All right. I didn't even know they existed, the R5. So, but I was going to try and sell all the bionicle. It was one more. Right. How right. much? How much? For them, I don't really know anything about the yeah. bionicle stuff, to be no, honest. No, neither did I. It was just, so I started digging through it and going through it all. Yeah. 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 Are these also ninja? Thank you. Some bionicle, mate. Stuff here, mate. If you're into your bionicle stuff, like I'm, I'm not. But yeah. um, take those three for a pound. Then. Be honest, I don't know. I've had a chance to get them. <laughs> How much on that? What's that box? For the lot. All neon exo stuff like. There's a load of brand new key rings as well. Right. So we're going to put them at like two fifty. Oh, that's not, no, this just this here. Um, like tenner? Yeah. For the lot? Is that all right? Yeah. There's quite a number of figures in there. Yeah, so, yeah. Did at um, Blackpool Winter Gardens recently. I went, I went to the Liverpool one. Yeah, uh, it was really good. Like the Star Wars setup they had was yeah. amazing. Like, but, um, I'm open to get the table next year. So I go and like go to that, and then like John organises a few pictures of me on builds. And yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I build like um, an underground train station. Oh yeah. All the LED lighting. And oh, very cool. All signal lights work. And, Little rending machine. Yeah. Like, so. Very cool. And then obviously I've got loads of modular buildings like golf systems, firehouse, and yeah. that just makes nice streets. Yeah. Have you done the Home Alone house yet? I have um, not got that. That yet. is like, that's my favourite one I've, I've ever done. Cool. Like, if you've, ever, if, you've, if you've seen the film, yeah. Yeah, if you've seen the film a few times, there's little Easter eggs and stuff in it that you'll just, it, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, that's all Toy Story. Is that Toy Story as well? This the, is all the Toy Story, that and that, and all that is Toy Story. Yeah, how much on that one? Um, four quid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I had a uh, manual for that. Yeah, Ooh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I was charge more for it, but I think what, what was missing. Yeah, I put that in because that were missing out of it. Right, okay. So it would just like, so far, because it's not. Complete, complete, no. Complete. Yeah, I'll do that for four quid. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers, mate.
How much is that, please? Uh, three pounds for the Ben 10 watch. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. How much is that? Yeah, I'll take it please. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Cheers. <coughs> What's that, Rev? What's that for? Hand holder. Oh, I see. Here, John. Here, John. That was your sign? Okay. I'll take that. Cheers, mate. The full box is 150. Right. The sun there, the How much are the bits in here? Uh, which bits do you want? Um, those three so far. Those three things. Uh, two. Two. Uh, I'll just see if there's anything now. So that's a lid from one thing. Oh yeah. You two for them. Well, 250. Yeah, well, 250. 250. Yeah. Uh, 40. 50. Thank you Thank very much. You. Two. 50p each. <laughs> quite cute, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take them, please. Okay, How much is that? Pound. Sorry? You can have for 50p. Thank you, I'll take him. It's one of them where I'm just like, I don't, I don't think I really need a like, purple, like, whatever it is, I don't even know what it is. No, but. <laughs> it's a monkey. I think I won him on the, in the arcade when I was like 16, so that's how old he is. Right. <laughs> he's just been shoved in a cupboard. Sorry, it's grass. I'm getting grass in. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not filming me. I know. Just the just <laughs> the item. <laughs> How much on there? Uh, two. How much on the um, Emmy Bridge water? Three. You know, I love a bit of Emmy Bridge. If you watch me on YouTube, then yeah. then I'm uh, that's fine. It's this one's that one. That's next. How much is that? Uh, Five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those two, please. That's great, thank you very much. Super, thank you. Thanks for watching as well. <laughs> Cheers. How much is that? Three quid. Right. Brand new, mate. Don't wire, don't yeah, I'll take it, please. That? I'll take it, thank you. I used to love that thing. 
got two towels on the wall. Yeah, I can't, I can't think. Is that what it was? Super. No, I think it was, yeah. Cheers. The little smoke covered. Yeah, I think that was my like third or fourth. My first so my first one was a big brick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I still got mine at home somewhere. I, I did until quite recently. I got rid of them um, a little while ago. I think yeah. a little bit of money in reselling them. Some of them. Some yeah. of them. How much is your cypress tray there? Uh, pound. pound. Yeah, I'll take your plea. I was born in Cyprus, so it feels oh, like I can't you? not buy it, really. <laughs> it's like, we've what got another like? one, we've, not, we've, we've still yeah. got one at home, so... <laughs> yeah. we, we like, so we had a honeymoon in Cyprus. All right, very good. Is that, is that okay? You do five on it. Sorry? You do five pounds on it, please. It's, you got six on it. Oh, right, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Be quite honest, I thought it was Will you do three at that now, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pound for one, yeah. Two, no, two. Yeah, two pounds. Yeah. Good lad. He's good at adding up. Right. Right. <sighs> right, back to the car. I know when random strangers start saying to me, you need a trolley, that it's time to come back to the car. <laughs> so, got a load of stuff here, which we'll have a good look at at the end a um, couple of mentions load of lego he had loads and loads of stuff i'm sure there was a lot more stuff there that i could have bought that i didn't but i just went with what i knew and bought some of the like new sealed stuff bread bin good bread bin literally sold this same one for about 35 quid recently it's in perfect condition paid a fiver anyway we'll look at everything else later on and a bridge water yes good here today the fog has kind of lifted to some degree i mean you can't see like past much past like the red van up there but it's a little bit better let's unload get back in there there's still lots to be had here i've not even been around the whole thing yet and i've still got two boot cells to go to after this but when it's like this it's a good one today when it's like this it's kind of like just i i'm yeah i'm gonna just kind of stay here for a bit longer than usual I think today it's a risk isn't it you stay one place you could go to the next and find something amazing or you could stay here and find something amazing you can't be everywhere at once so they're quite nice Marks of Spencer set of six Oh, it's on the picture frame, please. Uh, 50p. Thank you, I'll take it. That's all Are they all 50p? Or? Yeah. Just that one, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You want another three? One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, mate. Thank you. I 
just take those two bolts, please, for yeah, now. Thank you. How much you cows? <laughs> yeah, you can have them for 50p. Cheers. Nice to see yeah. on your desk. I'll take them. I've got loads of them. I've got a herd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite handy, isn't it? That storage case there. That one? Yeah. So it take is. it take it on holiday uh, in that, couldn't you? It is. And it's still got the, the new stuff in it, some new stuff in it as well. Alright. So a couple of quid. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, we're going on holiday in October, so uh perfect. Like I say, you can yeah. store it inside and build on top of it. So I'm trying to I'm thinking something for the plane, like it's um of course it'd be ideal for yeah. that because it keeps it contained then, doesn't it? It's a four hour flight, so I don't so, they've, it's the, they've never gone that far before, so we'll see. All right, where you have to a uh, Greece uh, roads. Oh yeah. Enjoy your holidays. <laughs> I will, thank you. Yeah. We'll do that. I guess you don't have the lid for this. I don't uh, really know. No. Planter, that's what it's best for. Yeah. <laughs> weirdest looking thing I've ever seen like I have to get that because my kids will just be like what the hell is that we got one two three four five I won't get that one it's five cheers thank you very much how much is that 50p I'll take that please yeah yeah Is it three on that? Yeah, you, you got you got four on it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And how much glasses? Yeah, I just. But what yeah, you do for the set of four? There's four of them, isn't there? I think. Yeah, just slightly. You can see there's a slightly different colour there, like the. Oh, is there? You know what I mean? So it's like. Oh yeah, that's more of like a grey, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so two and oh, right. two. Well, yeah, it's still, still cool. Right, um, yeah. You five? Yeah, um, yeah. Cheers. Okay. Mike, it's been up in here. It's been up in here. I did um, okay. message you that other, a bit ago, I bought some off you and I said about Preston, you know, to come to Preston with charity shops. Oh right, yes, yes that was you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no I've not, I've not been yet, but um, well, I was, was going to go because of all the rubbish weather we've had. Yeah. Wouldn't do a pound, would you? At all? One, Thank you. 
Hello, good morning. Hi. That came from Egypt. Interesting. This one yeah. as well. That's from Egypt. Yeah. Hello. You can turn around and look down here. Thank you. How much you after? On them? That one? Yeah. I'm giving it only for five. Oh. Just to get rid of it. Did you three on it? Oh no, no. I'm I'm fine to bring it back. I'll do the black and gold one, please. Thank you. <laughs> Second thoughts. <laughs> right, that's it for me. I do have a couple of bits right on the back row from somebody. So I'm going to head back in there and get it. They didn't have any change at the time. I've now got change. So I'm going to go grab them and then we're going to head on to the next boot sale. I'm back to the car, got myself some Tupperware. It's not what I went back in for. I've got some more Tupperware in here as well. We'll have a look at it at the end. One of the pieces in here is pretty good. Had it before, sells good money. But we'll have a look later on. Right, just arrived. Let's head in, see what we can find. Take them, please. Thank you. How much you pan? Not for the two, or yeah. yeah. yeah I'll take them, please. Right, so I'm back to the car, and I think I've missed a few things today using this camera. This camera, unfortunately, is I hate to say it, but I think it's on its last legs. I think I will be investing in a new one very soon. Uh, there's just issues like you press to record, it just doesn't record sometimes. And the only way to get it to record is to take the battery out and then put it back in again. And then the settings all change. I could go on, but let's just say it just doesn't work properly. So yeah, not like it used to. Used to it's done me well for a long time, but yeah, it was on the cards to get a new one anyway and that might be coming sooner rather than later. So there's definitely a few things today that I've missed, but don't worry, because we'll have a look at it all at the end of the video. I've got these baubles. I think these are to keep if I think they're kind of nice, but I'm not sure now. They're only a pound. And a few other bits, some cast iron pans and various other things. We will have a look at everything later. And the time now is quarter to 11, so we're going to be getting to the last boot sale for about 11 o'clock, which is obviously late. But we're going to go anyway, have a quick look, see if we can find a few extra bits to add on to all this. Let's go. We're on to the third field, just about, just one, well, kind of one and a half rows, I think, on here. We'll start here for today. That. So, how much are your garlic bread dishes? Uh, both for £3. About fourth a lot. You four? Thank you. <laughs> right, yeah. So, this right here is the same brand as that frog that I got, or toad. The big one, same brand. You're right, yeah. how much is your? Your outfit. It's quite interesting, isn't it? What kind of size is it, do you know? I don't know, uh, let's have a look. Let's um, so we'll find it. I know my daughter, she's now just obviously too big for it, but she did put it on and she got it on. Um, but it was yeah. up her legs, but she could get it on. Oh yes, 
actually short, but Hubbard's politics, I think, and he saw a cat, but he was driving, he saw yeah, a cat. Yeah, he's not. He went, so he said, probably a pencil, so. That's true, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You can have the three for a pound if you want. Uh, there's four of them. Uh, there's a four on what? Yeah, do the four for a pound. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, go on. Thank you. I've got a bit of bubble wrap instead of a big one. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Street, there's Nescaf, there's Mr. Blobby, uh, there's all sorts. <laughs> oh, some underneath as well, isn't there? Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Um, how much is the three then? Uh, 60p, um, is that alright? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. How much is that's two quid, that? Two. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. I'll do them. I'll keep looking if that's alright and see yeah, cool, anything yeah. else. What's that? That, uh, that's a couple of quid. Two, three, four. Four quid for a lot. Four quid. Uh, I'll, I'll buy them and then I'll keep looking. So it's raining a little bit here and people are actually starting to pack up already so I'm still going to have a good look around. I've got a few bits, some of which I've got on camera, some I've not, we'll have a look at it later. Yeah, literally everyone is uh, packing up now, don't blame them. Okay, how much is your cheese dish? Uh, two quid. Lovely day. I know, I didn't think it was supposed to be raining today. I know. Oh, Not yeah. anything right, can it? No. Yeah, I'll take it please, thank you. Yeah, that's definitely it. <laughs> Look at it now. Absolutely pouring it down. Everyone, everyone is leaving now. If I don't leave right now, I'm going to be stuck. You're in a massive queue of traffic. Right, next stop home where we'll have a look at everything I've bought. So it's a little bit later, I'm back home and I've unloaded everything. Let's take a look. So there is a lot to go through today. So I'm going to be as quick as I possibly can. Today I've spent £121, 10 pence approximately. There's a couple of things I'm not 100% on. I have to go back on my footage and check the prices on it. I'll be as accurate as I can. Let's start down here with some stuff that I might be keeping or some things that I definitely am keeping. Uh, this is one. I'm not sure if this is like a legitimate thing or not. It was only 50p. I really, really like it and I'm keeping it for myself. Got this crazy looking guy here, 50p, was it a bit less than 50p, but that's my kids, I'm not showing them that yet, I'm going to show them that in a minute. We've got this, we're going to be going on holiday fairly soon, I figured this would be cool to take along with us, you know, put a bit of Lego in it, take it along. If you're going to resell these, they don't go for a great deal. I only paid, what was it, a pound? maybe two. A couple of Lego items, a photo frame, and a few other bits. And then there's these Ikea boxes here, which I think we're keeping, but I'm not sure. I've been trying to search them. I can't find them out there. I will have another go later. If they're worth money, because sometimes this Ikea stuff, if they don't make it anymore, if it's sought after, some of this stuff can be worth a lot more than you think. Down here, we've got a teapot, three quid. They had a lot more of these. I'm glad I didn't buy them because they're not really worth that much. It is brand new in its box, although I've managed to kind of damage the polystyrene trying to get it back in. But I can still sell it as new, I think, but they don't go for that much at all. And there's loads of them on eBay. So dodged a bullet with that one. Definitely shouldn't have bought more because 
Um, he had quite a lot, and I was almost like, how many and how much will you do for them all? But gladly, I didn't. Three quid, we'll make five or six pounds profit on that. Got this game here, the London board game. This was only a pound. There seems to be different versions of this. Some are better than others. This is a not so great one, but still worth about 10 to 12 pounds plus postage. Got this cheese dish here. I really, really like this. It's got this kind of TG Green style writing. That's what I thought it was brand wise, but it's not that brand. It is actually Royal Winton, but I don't care because it's just really nice. I really like it. They don't go for a crazy amount of money. I thought they'd go for more, to be honest. But I think about 12, maybe 15 at a push on that. I paid two pounds. We've got a couple of Port Merion, uh, well, a Port Merion plate and a Port Merion bowl from two different people. I paid a pound for one and I think about a pound 50-ish for the other, bundled it with some other stuff. Uh, some of these plates sometimes can do really well. If you've got a particularly rare one, this one is about a tenner. Uh, the bowl, not looked it up. So we've got two lots of Lego bits today. I got these and I got the other stuff, which is kind of scattered around. I'll start with this stuff. Thank you very much to the person who sold me these. He's a subscriber of the channel. Appreciate it. And I also appreciate the tips he's given me. He's given me a couple of tips of places to get some good stuff locally to me. So appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Uh, we've got these two, some Duplo figures, a pencil case, and this Lego head. I think I paid about, what did I pay? I think it was 50p a piece on them and that, and them, and then three quid on the Lego head storage. And I think I bought something else from you as well. I'm sure we'll get to it in a moment. I got this here. This was from the last boot sale and was only two pounds, and it's that brand, which I can never pronounce it, so I'm not going to try, but there you go. There it is. And it's the same as like the toads that I've had. I had a big red toad and then a purple toad and they seem to do quite well. I've looked this one up and this goes for about 15 to 20. So the other bundle of Lego, uh, I paid about 25 quid in total. I'm definitely gonna have to go back on my footage. I kept like finding more and more and more and adding it on. And I paid like three different or maybe even four different times for everything I bought. So I'll just show you what I bought. As I say, roughly 25 quid for what I'm about to show you. Uh, we've got this set here. It's missing the big purple guy, but it has got this guy. Uh, but yeah, this set without that, it's obviously going to hurt it a little bit because it's not 100% complete, but it's still cool. Look at this figure here. I really like this guy. This guy actually sold it to me, I think. But his little, uh, his little face turns around like that, just like in the film. Got this, these Legos here, like two pterodactyls and Stegosaurus and the Triceratops. I've never ever seen this type of Lego dinosaur. These are vintage, I think. I'm pretty sure they're vintage. They look a lot like a vintage crocodile I've got upstairs. My kids have, pretty sure they are. Like kind of, if I had to put a date on it, 80s or 90s, thereabouts. Also this stuff here, uh, this Lego set, which if it was worth, I mean, if, if it was in good condition, it's not in, good, it's in really poor condition, the box, but it is new, it's not been opened. If it was in good condition, then you can get like 20, like this, it's probably gonna be more like 15, but that's fine. And also some other like sealed bags, various prices, nothing crazy here, five quid, maybe up to a tenner if I'm lucky, I've not looked them all up. Up them and then also all of this in here got loads of different mini figures and some key rings and stuff and i think i probably paid a little bit too much for this particular box i think i paid 10 quid just for the stuff in here which might be a little bit too much but i did get a really good deal on everything else so and there was other people around including one guy who had already like taken a, a big interest in a lot of the lego so I had to kind of think quick and I just went for what I know and I got them. And I also got these down here. I think that's, I'm gonna give that to my uh, son. I'm gonna give these to my kids. And these Daleks, these are not Lego, but they are proper branded as far as I can tell. You want me to make that out, but it does say, uh, you know, it says BBC, Doctor Who, licensed by, etc, etc. Is it like, a, I don't know what it is, I'll have to have a look. Is it maybe a Megablocks thing or something completely different? I really don't know. 
Uh, you've got these weeping angels as well. I don't think they're like a legitimate thing, but again, I could be wrong. There's no branded on it at all, like nothing. So I'm not sure about them. Yeah, got a really good price on a lot. I think one of the first pickups today was all of these cake tins. Most of them are new. Also got a few cookie cutters like I needed any more, right? I've already got loads of cookie cutters that I got a few weeks ago. Uh, but they're all the Winton branded ones, which I think are, are more well known for their like vintage ones, like the, like the Garfield. I had a Garfield last year and they do all sorts of stuff. You know, heart shapes, star shapes, and various other things. They're all in good condition. I say that I mean, most of them are new. There's a couple that aren't, that are kind of a little bit more interesting. And yeah, we pay the equivalent of like a pound each. You know, we're not talking kind of mega money here. It's like eight to 10 pounds a piece type of thing. But, you know, I've paid that for like the lot. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, doing okay. Got this here. This was. Well, he wanted two pounds, but I bundled it in with something else, I think. So I probably paid a little bit less. And it's one of these little weighed uh, houses, or this is a chemist. And some of these can do okay. This is not as good as the one, the Irish pub one. Is it an Irish pub, I think, that I got? It's not as good as that. It's more of a kind of five to ten pound type of thing. But it's in really good condition. It will sell. We've got this here, it's a Mickey Mouse tractor. I thought there might have been a little bit of money in this, but it's not a huge amount. £1.50 is what I paid for it. And people only seem to be selling them in like sets of three, so I'm guessing they came as like a three pack originally, possibly. Uh, by itself, probably like five to eight pounds. Not a lot, but you never know with this kind of stuff. It's old, it's vintage, I reckon 70s, maybe 80s, and it was worth a go. Got these here, these were only, what were they? I weren't really bothered to be honest, but she said, oh, I'll do them like cheap. I think they were. Was it two quid for the lot? It might have even been less than that. And I was just like, yeah, go on. Why not? We'll we'll give that a go. And my partner, I thought they might have been vintage. My partner said that she remembers these from being a kid. So I think they are kind of vintage. And they should do all right as a little set. They're in good condition. Two quid into, I have no idea. I can't find them out there, actually. I've, I've Googled them and searched them as well. Still can't find them. So I'm not sure on that. I've got these guys as well. Look at these weird looking things. Banana, orange, corn the cob onion or was it garlic do not know again i weren't that bothered about these but he was like you can have them all for a quid and i was like okay <laughs> we'll do them for a quid we'll try them out i'm sure there'll be a little bit, bit of money in them probably not a huge amount check out these magnets here how cool are these 1995 they are from somebody has like one of these up at like seven or eight quid or something i think they're out of america I can't find any of these like sold. I can't find anybody like selling like the four of them like this together. It does look like they were a set originally, or at least those three were. So I don't know. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of money in them. I just think they look really cool. They were only like the equivalent of like 50p, I think. Got a Cyprus tray there. Kind of fun fact for you. I was actually born in Cyprus in Akrotiri. And my dad was in the RAF. That's why we were over there. And that's, I was born there. I only lived there for a few months before we came back to the UK. And good times over there from everything I hear, like stories and stuff, and how cheap everything was back then. And yeah, good. I, I've always meant to go back. I've never been back. And obviously, I wouldn't recognize anything now. But I saw it. It was only a pound. It's in good condition. It's kind of vintage looking. And I thought I would give it a go. For a pound, I have absolutely no idea whether that has much money in it or not. But we'll give it a go. Uh, two dog bowls there, 20p a piece, Mason Cash. I don't tend to pick these up unless they're very, very cheap. 20p is very, very cheap. So I therefore thought I'd buy them. They're not new. They are a little bit used. Uh, but they'll still do okay, I think. Seven or eight quid each, something like that. Got a bread bin there. I've sold this exact style uh, just recently for, I think it was 35-ish, something like that. The condition of this is in very much the same condition as that one was. So I expect to get another 35 for that. I paid five pounds for it. Got some Emma Bridgewater tins here. And there was something else I purchased up the same person and she watches the channel as well. So thank you for doing me a good deal on these. Yeah, it was them and it was these cheese plates. I've had these cheese plates before and they did all right. I think they sold around Christmas time. They're tin, not ceramic. So, you know, you can't get as much as the ceramic ones, generally speaking. But, well, I don't know if Emma Bridgewater do ceramic uh, tea, coffee, sugars, but you know what I mean? I just mean generally speaking. Um, she did have some, what was it, Kaf Kidson, like a Christmas, I think it was like a Christmas 
a set of jars or cups or something and i really wanted them but somebody got in there just before i did so you win some you lose some i'm happy with what i did by offer uh, three pounds and two pounds i think it was five quid in total got them for a pound i thought these like were pretty nice i'm not too sure now <laughs> only a quid check this out kermit collection 12.95 original price but this is obviously vintage and i don't know there's much money in it pound is what i paid we've got the weirdest mug ever just here i won't get it out but there you go that's the kind of design that's on it very very unusual it's by this brand that i think i mentioned before a few times maxwell williams i think it's an australian brand don't quote me on that got a dunelm sugar and tea jar and they were a pound each i will sell these as single like replacements for people they do sell like that it takes a little while but they do sell for a pound each it's worthwhile would hope to get about a tenner each on them got a ben 10 watch here some of these do okay i think this is one of the ones that does a little bit better they're a bit hit and miss but they do sell like tenner maybe a bit more if it is one of the rarer ones today was the day of tupperware check it out we got one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces of tupperware is that a record not sure might be might be it's been a while since i picked up that much and uh, some's better than others but the best thing out of all the Tupperware is this here. It's a bread bin. And like the salt, the ones that are on eBay right now, like some people are not asking a lot on them. But last time I had one of these, it went for good money. Can't remember exactly how much, but it sold really quickly and it went for good money. So I'll be holding out on that. And I think I think like 30 to 35, I think I got for it thereabouts. Only paid a pound for that. That was a pound. They were a pound each. I think that was a pound um i'm struggling now is that were they a pound no that was uh, that 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 and that for two pounds fifty so yes tupperware you gotta love it <laughs> it's all vintage i think this these two are a little bit newer but the rest of it is like 80s vintage like the proper kind of old school style got a mega drive game back there i bought that along with this i've not looked this up yet some kind of nightlight, five pound, no, four pounds for the two. That's not worth too much, that game. Not sure on this, four quid for the two. I think that'll be okay. Fail of the day is the plush that I got today, I think. I just thought, I was in the mood for picking up some plush and I was like, I've not, I've not bought much recently in regards to plush. I thought I'd give a couple of things a go. Uh, these two for 50p, was it 50p each or 50p for the two? I think it was 50p for the two. I don't know on these, I've not looked them up, but I can't imagine they'll be worth much. And this as well, she said that she'd got it when she was young at a fairground. It's, you know, it's got a brand, it's got a like, proper care label on it and everything. It's Playmakers is the brand. Toys Children Love, it says. I've got some glasses. These two are really nice. Orchard Thieves. Never actually heard of that cider, to be honest, but I just think the glasses are really nice. I think I paid a pound each on them. Paid a pound on this glass, a pound on one of these, and then two pounds on the rest. And I might do them as a little set, I'm not sure. The Coca-Cola like can style glasses do a lot better than these splash ones. Um, in fact, I don't really pick these up unless they're very cheap. Got two cast iron pans with nice wooden handles. They're only little ones. And they're a brand that I've never heard of before, but they are made in France. And they are, you know, they seem like good quality, not quite. Look who say quality, but not far off. They're pretty good. It's this brand, Nomar France. And there's not that many of these out there. I thought there'd be a lot more. Uh, but yeah, still the nice colour, the nice kind of sunburst, orangey red. And, you know, not needing much of a clean inside. They should do okay. £1.50 each is what they were. Took this out. I thought this was really cool looking. Remember that 50p money box that I got recently from a boot sale? I wish I'd had more of them, but this is this is even better. This is like nice, good quality, vintage price Kensington. And it's weird, isn't it? Because that 50p went quick for maybe like, what was it to go for? Around £12, maybe 15 and it sold quick. This, like as if you look on eBay anyway, it's not even worth as much as that. And that was like some, you know, mass produced by the looks of it. Right, it, was, it was still vintage but it was no brand thing 
and not the best quality. You know what I mean? Um, I think this will be worth more. There's not many of them out there, so maybe the ones that are out there are a bit damaged or something. This one is pretty good. I think there's a little bit. Well, you got kind of like little manufacturing kind of marks there, but nothing crazy. Oh, there's a little bit there as well. But all in all, you know, the main kind of design of it is good. It's still got its original sticker right there and its stopper right there. I paid three quid for it and I really, really like this. Should I keep it? I probably shouldn't, should I? Nah. I really like it though. I'm going to aim high. See what happens. Blobby blobby. Check him out. Yes. I got this. This. Rover's Return mug. And this. Smarty Hornsey mug. Yes, some of these Smarty mugs, but not all of them I found are made by Hornsey. You might just be able to tell that it says Hornsey there. I had to really look carefully. It does say it, believe me. I have checked. Um, I sold one of these quite recently. It didn't go for a huge amount. Like I think it was about 10 or something like that. I only paid 20p, so yeah, it's worthwhile picking up. And another mug here. This is from somebody else. It's 50p. I just thought this was quite unusual. It's an... Is it Arco Rock or Arco Pal? Arco Pal brand, which is kind of alright sometimes. Just a weird design. I gotta give it a go for 50p. Got Jack Daniels mug here, Winter Jack. It probably came as part of a gift set from a supermarket, that kind of thing. Over here we've got a load of these books. Now the idea was to get these for my son, but I'm not sure if maybe he has too many right now. that We've got a lot of stories that we've kind of backed up, ready for him to read. And there's loads of these, got them all for four quid. I think we might just end up selling these ones. I can, I see these all the time at boot sales, so I can pick up more as and when, you know, my son kind of gets to them. I think that's probably what we'll do, but we'll see on that. Four quid for them all. We've got some hardbacks in here and I've never seen hardback uh, Tom Gates books before. So maybe there's a little bit of money in there. I don't know, but I'll probably bundle the whole lot together. Here we have some Rayware garlic bread. Garlic bread. Last time I had one of these, it sold pretty quick. So I figured I would give them another go. They are a bit used, these ones, compared to the last one I had. But they're still in good condition. Pound each. We've got a book there that was only 30p. I'm just adding it into the goosebump pile that I've got. I'll eventually sell them when they get to a decent amount. They sell well in like big bundles. Got this Netgear wireless router. I actually had this same router a good amount of time ago. It might have even have been like a decade ago. Oh no, it was a good. It was a, it was a long time ago. And uh, this is brand new steel. That's the only reason why I bought it. I wouldn't have bothered otherwise. I can only see pre-owned ones out there. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing there's not many new ones of these still out there, right? So we'll see on that. Got some Copperberg glasses down here. Set of six for one pound fifty. And, uh, you know, they're okay. Nice kind of design. It was the shape on these that won me over a bit. Uh, and the price for £1.50, they'll do okay. So I think that's basically it. I've got one more item to show you, but I think that is it. I think I've covered everything. If not, then sorry about that. I do sometimes miss the odd item. It is here, but sometimes like buried behind stuff and things, it's, it's difficult when there's so much to go through. Uh, yeah, think I have covered everything apart from this right here. So the lady who was selling me this, she was saying how these came from Egypt and you know they were brought back from Egypt and all this. And I don't know, maybe they were, maybe they were, but they are made by this brand, which a lot of you will know. It's hang on, that brand. Shoed Hill giftware, which I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure it's not got anything to do with Egypt. Pretty sure it's the same. They sell like a lot of giftware in the UK. I've had lots and lots of different things uh, from them or by them before. So anyway, I, you got to give it to her. She she was doing her best to kind of sell all three of them to me, but the other two had damage, and she's like, "Well, you could just do this or do that," and I'm just like. Uh, no, I'm not going to pay five quid each when they're like that. And this one is in perfect condition. And this should do all right. It's it's nice. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. I know. I know. I know. But it's nice. Nice weight to it. Just good quality. Not all this stuff is always good quality. But this one is. 
and a bit different. I like to try these new kind of unusual different things out. And I think somebody had sold one for around 20 quid, but there's not many out there. I think I can get quite a bit more than that. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to aim for more than that. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to go like 30 plus postage, maybe even a little bit more. You know, see what happens. See if there's much interest in it. And hopefully there will be. I'll make a nice little profit on it. Right, thank you for bearing with me. I know that was probably quite long. There was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff to go through. I bought a lot of stuff today. I was considering doing the boot sales tomorrow, but do you know what? It's Saturday today, by the way, if I've not mentioned already. Um, but I'm having a rest tomorrow. I've I've done a lot. I've been working a lot recently, and I just at tomorrow I am having a rest. In fact, tonight I am having a rest. As soon as I put all this stuff away, I am me and my kids and my partner. Once she gets back from swimming, we're having like a movie night, chill out night, and video games. And we're just yeah, we're gonna get some food in, or they're gonna get some food in. I'm on this diet thing, which yeah, I am uh, trying my best to kind of be good. I think we might give this a go. I'll, I'll show it to my kids, see what they think. If they have any interest, then we might give that one a go. Before I list it and sell it, we may as well try it out. So you got to think, like today I have been up since, what? Five past five, I think I finally woke up and I to get to the boot sale for six. Uh, which I just about did, just about. Um, and so I've been up since then and I got back. After I've done all the boots that I got back and unloaded everything, then I kind of go through and I research a few things. I put it all out in front of me like this. So it's actually now, I mean, I did have a, a quick break to make the kids some lunch and I had a coffee with my partner and we just kind of yeah, sat down for maybe half an hour. But apart from that, it's now uh, 10 past four and I've basically been at it since uh as i say well if you conclude traveling time then like half five this morning so it's things like this like people don't like um it, there's a lot of work in reselling is what i'm trying to say and especially when you like making the videos as well it's a whole other added element onto it it's not just like the editing of the, of the footage it's all this like you know be getting everything out showing you guys everything it all takes time and uh, I just thought I'd mention that because people don't mention it and I'm, it's not a complaint it's nothing like that I'm just trying to kind of you know put to you guys how it is you know, reselling and doing like the YouTube at the same time it's a constant kind of battle between where to spend all my time do you know what I mean especially now I'm full time I need to kind of bring in you know enough money to cover my bills and then some so it's like the most money obviously comes from the reselling so I need to kind of focus on that focus on that but then i have like the youtube and i want to keep that going and i've got like my other kind of youtube going on and then other things as well and it's just like it's a, it's a constant juggling act of where to spend your time and uh again not a complaint just a general observation about how it is and if anybody out there is like wanting to get into like reselling and everything then it's a lot of work as long as you're kind of prepared to uh, really knuckle down and put a lot of work into it then you'll do well i'm sure you'll do well if you you know keep your knowledge base up keep learning new things everyone is is you know in this game is always learning new things because uh, if you don't, you got to kind of keep with the times and you got to kind of realise when things are not working and change things up a bit, think outside the box a bit. That's how it is. That's how it is with like any business, but especially with reselling. And, you know, there'll be mistakes along the way. Everyone makes mistakes. It's not it's not an issue. Do you know what I mean? I, I was speaking to a few people today and it just got me thinking about things. And I went into a few things with a few people today uh, just to kind of, you know, I was just trying to explain how it is, um, you know, doing it full time and doing the YouTube and just like the constant, um, uh, you know, pull of <laughs> you're just trying, trying to juggle everything. It can be a lot, but I enjoy this so much more than my old job. Uh, sorry to anybody who may be watching for my own job, uh, my old job. And I know some people, I think a few people uh, watch now. Um, and yeah there was nothing against that but this you know i feel like i'm getting somewhere kind of in life in general 
doing this. Whereas for a long time in my old job, I didn't feel like that. And yeah, this is, uh, this is a step in the right direction for me, my family, kind of my life going forward. And I'm glad you guys are there to follow my journey. And thank you again. I can't say, uh, you know, I've got so many people who watch who come up to me and say hi or will leave comments and or email me and overwhelmingly positive from you know most people and it really is appreciated it is because you know at times like it, it can be I've heard a lot of people mention this before like a lonely job I, I wouldn't say I mean, for me personally, I'm I'm not like the most outgoing, like extroverted person. Anyway, I'm I'm quite introverted, and like working by myself and stuff it doesn't bother me. Like I I'm quite happy doing that, but yeah, I do miss I do miss a bit of the kind of social aspect of working a regular nine to five job. But I get that from when I go to the boot sales, I get talking to people, and that's where I got get that kind of side of things from. It's not it, you know it's Good to kind of socialize with people who are doing the same thing as you um, or just love going to a boot sale and you know finding a bargain so yeah it's very much appreciated everybody who watches thank you very much for watching and for the support and for everyone who goes to the my ebay shop and buy stuff there's been a few people recently thank you very much to you it is appreciated and yeah let's uh let's keep going let's, you know there's a good few months left in this year it'll be a real kind of tester for my business coming into christmas we've got i put a lot of like eggs in the basket in the basket of christmas is that that doesn't make sense it should be like an easter thing no i'm just talking absolute rubbish now aren't i yeah but i'll leave this one there i'm going to pat this stuff away and i'm going to put my feet up and get a coffee and just relax for the rest of the day i know i've got a 45 minute workout to do first but after that i will then do it but that's it for now thank you for watching if you could hit the like button subscribe if you're not already subscribed i'll see you in the next one blobby blobby